Express Milk Supply. Yes, that's right. Before I ever even thought about making a YouTube video on this topic, I actually watched a ton of YouTube videos on this topic because I also, like you, struggled with making a supply to feed my baby. So I can say now I think it's pretty safe to say that four kids in, I think I kind of got the hang of this thing. So let's see, I breastfed my second, third, and fourth child. I did not breastfeed my first. I was very young and I just didn't have any interest in it, I guess. So anyways, long story short, a few years later, I had my second child and I matured a lot more and I decided, you know what? I would like to try breastfeeding, why not? And I'm not saying you should breastfeed or you have to breastfeed. Honestly, it's for whoever wants to do it. It's your choice. So <clears throat> if you don't wanna breastfeed your baby or you can't, that's fine. Like formula is good too. I also did formula. So I think both are great options for anybody and everybody is different. But I will say that with my first time breastfeeding my second child, I did not last that long. I think I lasted like six weeks and I just was still a little immature and I just, I don't know, I just wanted to have fun. And I felt like by breastfeeding, I couldn't have fun. I thought you can't drink, you can't do anything. And not that those were my priorities at the time, it's just I was, you know, like I said, I was a little less mature. So then along came my third child and that was my second experience breastfeeding. And I actually enjoyed it. Um, I did it for a lot longer. Um, again, like probably six months. And then now this is my fourth child and I actually wanna try to do it as long as I can. So we're gonna see how this adventure goes. I would like to get started with what I feel is one of the very most important things when you are a breastfeeding mother, taking care of yourself. You can't produce milk and you can't feed your baby if you're not taking care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself, that is number one. You need to make yourself a priority. I know we always put ourselves last when it comes to our children and self-care and all that, but you really need to focus on taking care of yourself. It is very, very important. So one thing I do is every day after our, or before I brush my teeth, I take my gummy prenatal vitamins. Um, I like the gummy ones for some reason. The pills always made me nauseous. That's just me though. So anyways, that's why I take the gummies. But um, yeah, I think that you guys definitely want to start with a good multivitamin. That is key. Prenatal is packed with vitamins, packed with nutrients. It is what you want. Go to. Okay, and then another thing is um, taking care of yourself. <sighs> take care of those nipples, baby, okay? You gotta take care of your nipples because if you have sore nipples, cracked nipples, you are less likely gonna want to pump and feed your baby because it's gonna hurt and it's gonna be painful. So if you take care of your nipples, they're gonna be in tip-top shape for all that baby breastfeeding and pumping and all that stuff. So I like the lanolin cream, uh, I have the Medela, and I also have the Lansino brand, and I like both. And it also makes a great lip balm. Like, I tried it the other day on my lips, and oh my gosh, game changer. So this can be used for other things too besides nipples. Um, but yeah, anyways, <laughs> back to the nipples. Um, yeah, so you wanna make sure you take care of your nipples. So use a good lanolin cream. I like to put mine on after I get out of the shower, and I dry off, pat them dry, put the lanolin cream on, and then I also like to put on some nursing pads because, you know, you wanna stay dry and also prevent yourself from getting, you know, just, you wanna stay fresh, okay? And you wanna keep, and you also wanna change these. You do not wanna reuse them. You wanna change them. These are disposable ones. So you wanna change them. I put a fresh pair on like in the morning and then, and sometimes I don't wear them during the day because I just like a break. But I also put a fresh pair on at night. So after your shower, throw out the ones you were wearing that day, put on a fresh pair, okay? Or you can even buy, which I do have, I don't have them with me right now, but you can also buy the um, ones that you can wash, the reusable pads, and those are super soft and really nice. Take care of yourself, and I know it's hard. We're busy, Ugh, everything, kids, everything, work, a job, but you need 
to also just take time, try to take even 10 minutes just to decompress, just sit down, relax, hold your baby, just enjoy your baby, okay? Because that's part of the experience too. You wanna do it because you enjoy it as well. Strip down, take your shirt off, take your bra off, strip that little baby down in just a diaper, lay them on your chest for at least 10 minutes in the morning, just even if you're breastfeeding or whatever, just be like that together. Let them just be on you. It's kind of like the golden hour when you first have the baby and they lay them on your chest for like an hour, you know, so you can really get that bonding in. And that also helps bring in the milk. Same thing this way. This helps bring in the milk too. And um, it's another great bonding experience for you and your little baby because you know, they're only little for so long. So enjoy every precious moment while you can. It's so easy to get caught up in the busyness of the world and work and life and everything like that. But like I said, you really do not get these moments back. So just cherish them. Even if you're like, oh, I just really wanna get going today. Take that 10 minutes. I mean, you'd spend it sitting on your phone or doing something else, you know what I mean? So spend it with your baby and it will help you and him or her in your journey of breastfeeding. I guarantee it, I guarantee it. All right guys, another one, hydration. Hydration is key to breastfeeding. It is key to building a supply. Your breast milk is made up of mostly water and then the other nutrients that your body supplies. But if you are not hydrated, then you are not gonna produce enough milk. You are not gonna produce much milk at all. I'm telling you, I was very bad at drinking water. And when I increased my water supply, I saw a huge difference. I'm telling you, a huge difference. I literally keep my water with me all day. I carry it in this Hydro Flask because A, it keeps it nice and cold and that makes me want to drink it when it's refreshing. I also keep a backup water bottle in the fridge for when I run out because if I'm going somewhere and I'm busy and I don't have enough time to get the ice, fill the water up and I just gotta jet out, I have another one on hand that I can just grab out the fridge and go. Hydration, hydration is key. You gotta hydrate. If you don't hydrate, you're not gonna increase your supply. That's just it. Even if you just drink a ton more water, that would alone give you a big boost in your supply. And another thing I like to do is, I actually found this out from another video. Somebody said, get the body armor and drink one a day. So I went to the store, I was like, I don't know, a little leery at first because these are kind of expensive. There were like three of them for $5 and that's kind of pricey if you're gonna try to drink one of these every day. But I decided, you know what, it's worth it. Um, I would spend way more having to buy formula, right? So why not? It's it's gonna help, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna get, I only bought three, bought the three, took them home, put them in the fridge, let them get nice and cold, and then I drank my first one the next day. I didn't really notice much too different the first day, but then the second day, girl, <laughs> there was a huge difference. Like this, I would literally be a spokesperson for body armor, for breastfeeding, because this stuff works and it is like full of electrolytes and everything and it tastes good too like this tastes amazing i am drinking one of these a day and i have noticed a difference so with your water in this chef's kiss golden golden the stuff is awesome okay so whoever put this in their youtube video i don't know because i've watched so many of them thank you thank you for this this is amazing. I can't stress it enough. All right, diet. <laughs> so I am not a big like, oatmeal person, but for the sake of increasing my breast milk supply, I can be, I can be a big oatmeal person. I got oats for days. So, and I don't eat oatmeal every day, but a couple times a week I do and it does increase your breast milk supply. So I just make myself one bowl in the morning, have it like after my coffee or whatever, and then maybe also have like a yogurt or some fruit or something with it because I can't just eat bleh, plain boring oatmeal. Okay, that's just me. But for the sake of breast milk supply and boosting it, I will eat oatmeal. And that's why I bought more oatmeal and stacked up. So you guys 
eat your oats. They are good for the supply and just think about it. You're doing it for your baby, okay? If you don't wanna eat oatmeal, that's fine. You don't have to. Just doing the other things I mentioned alone will make a world of difference. But if you wanna add that little extra oomph, do the oatmeal. And then on days when I am busy and I have to race out the door and I have a lot of errands to run, I just grab one of these. These are delicious. They're Nature Valley um, peanut butter chocolate wafer granola bars. And oh my gosh, these are really good. They have grains, oats, and everything like that. So this really does help. And I feel full for like two hours just off this one bar. Um, but yeah, these things are a godsend and I would recommend these every single day. I mean, like I said, I don't eat them every day, but I eat them probably about two to three times a week for breakfast because I am so busy, but I still want to get those grains in to help boost my milk supply. So like I said, eat these, buy these. You get five of them in a box or like four or five bucks. But like I said, one a day or one every other day, that, that will help you a lot too. Or even as a snack, if you don't want to eat it as a breakfast, keep it in your purse. Cause you know when you're breastfeeding, you are hungry all the time. And this is a filling little snack. It actually is. Every time I go to the store, I grab a box, sometimes two boxes. I like to stay stocked up on these. These are legit. Another thing is when you are not feeding your baby, you need to make sure that you are pumping. I pump a few times a day, that's just me. I like to pump in the morning when I wake up, but if for some reason I wake up and the baby's up at the same time, I will prefer to feed her on the breast versus pump. But like I said, and then maybe after she's done, pump out what's maybe left over. And then I like to try to get a pump in in the afternoon and then another one a little bit later in the afternoon and then another one before bed. I try to get at least four good pumping sessions in a day because I'm trying to build up a stock and everything. And that's four is maybe not a lot to you, but to me it is because I'm also putting her on the breast a lot as well. So I actually put her on the breast more than I do feed her through the bottle. I'm more trying to pump so I can store up um, milk for if I'm away and when I send her to her grandparents' house or her dad, he's home, he can just, you know, grab a bag out, uh, you know, warm it up for her, feed her, and, and we're good, you know, we're good to go. Working on building up that supply. But the thing is, if you're like me and you work and you're busy and you're always on the go, how can you pump when you can't always be sitting when you can't always be sitting plugged into a wall, you know what I mean? You can't always do that. That's a lot of work. So I got this nifty little hand pump from the hospital. It was free. They gave it to me when I had Jolene. So, and this is the um, Ameda brand. This thing, it, it's not much. It's not that fancy, but literally just like this. And it works. This thing works. So like my mom the other day, we had to go somewhere. We had to leave early. Like I did not have time to pump because I didn't wake up early enough. And that stuff happens. That's life. We're not always going to be on a perfect schedule. So I just threw this in my diaper bag and I sat in her back seat and I just pumped away because my boobs were, whoo, they were pretty swollen. And I just pumped away. I filled probably this, almost this whole bottle up. And, and it took me like 15 minutes. It didn't even take that long. And it's not really, it doesn't really hurt or anything like that. It, it works good, but you gotta, you know, keep going. It's a good workout for your hand. But this thing, you need to have something like this to throw in your bag for times like that when you just gotta go, you know? You need your breast pumping supplies to work with you, okay? You need them to work for you, not against you. So, which leads me to another thing. I, also invested i always seen those breast pumps where um you know you can wear them around and do things around the house and i always wanted one but i never want to put the money out well this time with jolene i said since i want to really keep my head in the game i want to do this for a long time i need to invest it's worth it it's worth it for her i mean one of these off amazon what costs like four or five jars of cans of formula so i mean it pays for itself i actually did an affirm payment plan on this and it's like 12 bucks a month and 
itself, it's only 120 bucks to buy it outright, but I did a firm so I can make payments on it. $12 a month, I don't even miss $12. I spend that in the McDonald's drive-thru, honestly. And this is an investment for me and for Jolene and for her health. So that's the way I thought, thought about it. So I ordered this, it's the Mom Cozy. I just used it so it's a little wet, I just rinsed it out. Um, but there are, there's a button on the top to turn it on, okay? A heart, that's massage. And then there is uh, the drops, that's expression mode. And then, you know, you can do five different levels, okay? This thing's pretty sweet. And it does work good. I'm gonna be honest though, I do not get as much out as when I use my actual plug-in pump. But this does the job. So say I am trying to get a bunch of chores done, a bunch of things done before I have to go pick up my daughter. And I don't have, I only have like 15 minutes to do it. So am I gonna take that 15 minutes to be plugged into a wall? Or could I take that 15 minutes, do everything I need to do and pump at the same time? I'm sorry, I'm gonna choose doing what I need to do and pumping at the same time. Because I don't know, I'm a busy body. And it's hard for me to sit still too. When I use this pump like this, I get tired after sitting for 15, 20 minutes. I get sleepy. I, I just have to stay busy. So this pump works awesome. You literally just put this right on top, okay? And then you stick it right in your bra, turn it on, and it just works like that, like magic. And then you take this off and you just dump it out. It's so simple. And these come with a charger for each one you plug them in charge them I haven't charged these for like two days and it hasn't died on me yet so the battery life lasts a pretty long time on them as well um, I'll wear these things around for 15 sometimes 30 minutes in the house and I'll they'll stop and I'll just restart them and keep going because why not you know it's not gonna hurt anything um, but yeah so it is really good to have one of these like I really stress getting one I never wanted to put out the money for one, and there are so many brands and varieties to choose from. I'm sure there's ones out there that are better than this, but I, at the time, did not want to spend a lot of money, but I wanted to fulfill my dream of having a wearable breast pump. So I did it, I'm happy with it, I really like it, and I would definitely recommend it. This is the Mom Cozy S9, if you're wondering. Okay guys, last but not least, a good standard pump and a good pumping bra are also some good things to have to help pump and increase your supply. Another thing, a lot of motivation, determination, and self-love. And don't worry, mama, you got this. If I can do it, I know anybody can. Good luck to you, and may you produce all the milk that your baby desires. You guys have a good day, and till next time, bye.